Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 bike rack here on our 2018 Kia Sedona. This is a platform style bike rack and a really good entry level platform style bike rack. It's pretty basic and lacks some of the bells and whistles that you might see on a more premium option, but it's a good entry point into the space there. It is a frame contact style bike rack here. So we've got a frame clamp right here with a strap around it. So we do probably want to avoid carbon frame bikes, but because of the way this frame clamp actually rotates 360 degrees, slides up and down, it is going to be good for alternative frame bikes. The curved design is gonna be good for a variety of different wheelbases. So even kids bikes should be pretty good on here. It does have a 35 pound weight capacity per bike. So just stay within those limits and we should be all good. Now, it doesn't have any sort of tilting away features, so if we need hatch access, we need to take the bike off first. So that's a little unfortunate for me to see, but it's not a total deal breaker for many people. Now, to remove it, we've got these gray buttons that will press to remove these ratcheting wheel straps. We've got two of them on either wheel, or one on either wheel, two in total. And those are just pulling down and in on the bike, giving it a secondary point of contact. And then, while we're kind of steadying the bike, we can undo the strap on the cradle on the frame here. That one's a little trickier to get off, but then we're all good. And we can lift the bike just over that center mast and set it to the side. Now, typically I really don't like having a center mast on a bike rack here, cause it's just one more thing that I have to kind of fish the bike around when I'm loading and unloading it. But because this one is so low, it's actually pretty easy to lift the bike up and over. I like to replace these straps as well, except for one of them. And we'll show you why in just a second here. I'll undo this hand knob and flip this plate back so that we can fold this mask down. I'm actually gonna use the open strap right here to wrap around the tray and secure it so it doesn't go anywhere whenever we're going down the road and bikes are unloaded. With it like this, let's get some measurements. Our ground clearance at the lowest point is gonna be 14 and a half inches here because of that sort of U-shaped design. And it is going to stick out about 23 inches from the back of the vehicle. Now it's fairly condensed, but if we wanna leave it in the hitch between bike rides and it's empty, we can fold it up to save some space. Near the hitch here, we've got a hand knob that's threaded. We'll just remove that fold the bike rack upright and re-thread it in with the newly aligned holes. Now there will be a clip on the other side of that that you have to remove and put back on, but ours has gone missing after it's been down in the shop here for a while. Just tighten that up and it actually kind of acts like an anti-rattle device, keeping that pivot point really solid. Now our new measurement here is only gonna be 10 and a half inches that it sticks out. And at the closest point, we're only about three inches away from the vehicle here. And again, because it's pretty solid, I'm not worried about vehicle contact. Down at the hitch, it'll work with an inch and a quarter or a two inch hitch like we're using today, using the included adapter sleeve and comes with an anti-rattle bolt, keeping things solid and secure in the hitch. Overall, if you're looking for a good entry point to a platform style bike rack, this is it. If you're looking for something that has a few more features, some bells and whistles, Maybe the Super Clamp HD would be a good thing to look at. It's got integrated locks and tilting away with the bikes loaded, as well as a higher weight capacity. Either way though, it's gonna be a good fit for your Sedona here. Thanks for watching.